main page. So it will be very hard to troubleshoot and find out the errors. So it is, it's always better to arrange it into different pages uh, and hence we call it like a layers of logic. Okay, we have a question coming up. Are there any templates to identify and document the manual process before giving BPA? Uh, Edward, yes, there is actually a few templates uh, there for documentation. There are a few templates inside the BP portal. Uh, you can actually uh, go inside the BP portal once you get the access and download all the formats. Uh, of all the documents that is associated with Lubrism. Uh, so it's actually there. Don't worry about that. So I'll get you uh, where actually you have to download that particular document or sample uh, format. All right. So that's layers of logic. So let, let us see the layers of logic uh, in, in our Lubrism. So let me open my Blue Prism. So let me close this process. So it's always better to arrange uh, whatever flows you create inside the process or object studio into different pages. Log the process and start editing it. Finish. All right, this was our yesterday's process. So here, so main page. So, so the best practice is to keep only the page reference inside the main page. So what we'll do is that we'll create a new page and. We'll name it like uh, circular loops and press OK. And we'll move everything, everything into that particular page. So inside the main page, we'll only be having a few set of page references to different pages. We'll not be using uh, the main logic inside the main page. So it's always advisable. Uh, to create or to move all the logic into sub pages rather than running it into the main page. So circular loops, paste it over here. All right, the start got replaced. We'll remove the end part. There can be only one start stage in one particular page. However, you can put any number of end stages inside a page. So here's our main page and the main page should only have some page references too. And main page is actually used to combine different pages. So you have circular loops over here. And this is how we arrange it into different pages. All right. Yep. So the, we have arranged it into a different page called circular loops. So if you have any other operation or any other function, you can separate it into different page and call that page from the main page. So there is no hard and fast rule how to divide uh, the logic into different pages. So it will be simple if you divide it based on on the functionality of what actually you are doing inside the that particular page. For example, consider you have a process uh, similar to uh, this steps. Let me delete this. Okay, since so these are the steps uh, you have in your process. For example, the first step will be the process customer request. And the next step is kind of like verify the request. And the third being add transaction. And fourth, make transaction and update the text file. 
So these are the are the functional uh, separation of your process. However, you can do it inside the main page. All these processes can be done inside the main page. But it's always better to create a different page for all these actions. Let me show you as an example. So let me come over here in the process studio and we'll create the first page process customer request and next step being what's it? Verify request. And next transaction. So so on you have to create uh, all the other pages as well like uh, make transaction and update that into Excel file, update Excel file. So you can create two other pages as well and in the main page we just combine all these operations. So this is how we uh, actually do. Yeah, go ahead. This is Venkatanam Raju. Yeah. Uh, Arun, quick question. So yeah. for every condition you have to have a separate uh, page? Uh, not like every condition. So every kind of a separate process flow or logic. For example, uh, for uh, for uh, processing customer request, uh, we'll be having a separate uh, independent logical flow than for the verifier request. So it's kind of isolating that particular functionality and the logic behind logic behind that functionality into a separate page. Uh, then we, it will be able to identify the errors that happens in that type of, type of functional uh, logics that we have over here, and we can actually put the, so the, the so the main so the main usage of dividing it into different pages is that we can actually.